Welcome back to Key Talk Media. Shout out Key Talk Society for checking in every single video and liking the video. As a matter of fact, go ahead and like the video for me before we get it started. Give you a little time. Thank you for liking the video. Anyways, so if y'all thought Boosie was about to sue his brother and stop suing everybody else, you know what I'm talking about? You was wrong. Now, of course, a lot of people's coming out and saying, that the fact that Boosie's actually taking legal action uh, to try to sue his brother because he stole, well, he signed a deal worth $10 million, but he received $5 million. And of course, he's saying that he did this many times, so he stole a whole lot of money from him. A lot of people is like, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. You is so police. What's happening with Boosie, man? Boosie's starting to work with the laws to do that 12 stuff he always been preaching against. He supposed to keep it screen, keep it a screen code or no code at all. Anyways, so Boosie has been labeled the most ethical screeter of them all now obviously ethical a uh, screet ethical and, and civilian ethical are two different things but anyway so Boosie's now came out and said he's coming out to more than just his brother. Now he's got his lawyer working through all the rappers. You know what I'm talking about? And you know a lot of rappers don't mention Boosie's name, use his lyrics, uh, use his voice inside of songs, all type of stuff, right? Because like Boosie's one of the artists that the screech just really, really, really rock with. Now you know. Well, Boosie's saying that he want a piece of the pie from each and every one of those artists. Somebody came out and said, man, Rod Wave did some type of remix or something better using something that you did or something like that and he had to stop and think like hmm well a lot of artists don't want to give me no features which you know boosie's always asking for something hey i need this hey i need that you know what i'm talking about he said a lot of artists ain't trying to give him no features so what he's gonna do y'all already got features for me y'all using some of my work some of my copyright you know what I'm talking about? infringing my copyright so he's about to sue them all he said he's already got five artists lined up and i think rod wave could potentially be one because from the video that i'm about to play for you you will hear you know somebody him say something about it or somebody questioned it about it and pretty much said he did the best here's the video wave did it the best no cap a lot of artists sampling my i can't even get a feature people just don't think i'm you know business minded like you know Saying the exact same thing I said, bro. Like, that they wouldn't do that to a white artist. They wouldn't do that to another artist. Just boost. So I'm coming back for all that, bro. Y'all already know. Y'all already know who taking my shit. So I'm coming back for all that. I just got off the phone with my attorney last night. I got like five situations. Ain't called me, asked me nothing. I mean, just. I figure I'm too gangster to file a lawsuit. Copyright infringement, bro. This ain't like no Marvin Gaye and Robin Dick shit. This some every word. Anyways, now from that video, you can definitely see Boosie trying to get that paper. You know what I'm talking about? He fighting that gun case. Probably going to have to maybe do a little time. Who knows? I'm going to keep that money coming in. You know what I'm talking about? He went to jail a while ago, got out, and he said he was completely drained while he was inside of there. So now he's probably in a type of mode to where he's trying to collect as much money as possible. That's why he now going back to think about it. Look at the spreadsheet. Hold on, man. My brother signed a deal for $5 million. Young Blue, y'all pay me or my brother pay me. Now it's too late. He's on a lawsuit. So. And of course, that costs money even doing that lawsuit. Uh, but obviously, Boosie is getting money from wherever he potentially can right now. Uh, he, he is doing something that, of course, some people may call a violation of the street code. But hey, listen, you, now you're at a point to where you're either going to try to keep the, 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 the idea and the thought of keeping a street code, you know what I'm talking about, or you're going to act like a United States citizen that you are, that you became by the 13th Amendment, you know what I'm talking about, that you became a human and, and you're able to sue somebody, you know what I'm talking about, even if it got to do with some courts, even if it is a criminal uh, suit to where your brother could potentially go to jail or the people that's, you know, doing copyright infringement have to come up off that paper and pay you or some type of uh, consequence could happen to them, not a street consequence, now more of a legal consequence, right? Anyway, so at the end of the day, people that are suing people for copyright infringement and all type of stuff like that, it's been happening. I'm talking about it always happens. It's just 
you never really see it happen inside of hip hop or rap because most of these guys want to keep the street code and the street rules so they don't want to do nothing they got to do even though we know that the definition of snitching has changed many 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 times it used to be like you do a crime with somebody and then you snitch on, on, on you know somebody and get that person more time or get them all the time then that snitching then it, you know somebody now it's kind of like if you do anything with the police at all you know what I'm talking about so doing a copyright infringement you got to go to the courtroom and, and the courtroom is connected to the 12 so they tied together some way somehow and and like I say, living up under the rules like that, you can't really live life. Not only can you not really live life, it's like, uh, it's of course, it's an underworld way of living. But at the same time, you miss out on a, a lot of the opportunities of being an actual citizen of a state. You know what I'm talking about? Not being able to exercise that stuff and sue people. And you know, America is literally known the companies are known for suing. Like that's like one of the biggest things inside of America. But whenever you live under some type of rules to where you can't really do that kind of stuff, then of course you're just missing out. So uh Boosie's about to exercise his full right of being a American citizen that he comes with. Uh, but at the same time, he may lose some people in the streets. He probably won't lose them. Some people online would just be in the comment section saying hey didn't he snitch or did he tell or is he going against his rules they'll be asking the question rather than probably giving an answer because on the internet of course it seems like everybody's always searching for something until somebody give them something and then that's what they take it in as but anyways how do y'all feel about it do y'all feel like boosie is breaking the street code doing some type of snitching or going against anything that he actually stands on with the fact that he's going to do a complaint on his brother or done a complaint on his brother which is like a criminal kind of case that he can end up in jail and then also all you artists out there that done sample boosie that done you know talking about use some of his lyrics whatever you may have done you know what i'm talking about just know that boosie's on the way or his lawyer is anyways let me know some. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.